this particular session we will talk about the virtual teams, uh, the contents are the virtual team, physical versus virtual team, advantages and disadvantages of virtual teaming, e-leadership, uh, common challenges for the leaders in a virtual team uh, environment, building trust, uh, making virtual teams work, uh, basic principles uh, and as usual uh, the research paper, case study and book recommendations. Uh, uh, this, uh, then the you will find at the end there are the references for this material and for further studies. So, whenever we are talking about the virtual teams are there, so take many forms, they have different objectives and solve various types of tasks are there and they all have in common two necessary elements. So, two or more people work together to achieve the common goals are there, at least one of the team members works in a different location or at a different time is there and therefore, uh, in that case uh, uh, it, it, it will be that is the how they, they are having this uh, uh, working together uh, for the uh, this uh, achieving the particular common goal right. So, uh, here if we are talking about the team, so team uh, is remaining the same because we have discussed this thing earlier. So, what is a team? Team is that is uh, achieving the common goals and whenever we are talking about the common goals are there. So, therefore, uh, in that case uh, that uh, uh, here, uh, the whole uh, uh, the process uh, that will be working together. But uh, at least our team members works in a different location or a different time. Right? So, but when you are talking about the virtual teams, so they are not physically at one place. Right? Uh, at least one member is there who is at the different location or a diff at a different time is there. These two defining characteristics, virtual teams communicate and coordinate at least partially by means of electronic media is there. So, always there will be the uh, electronic media and in by means of the electronic media they will be having this uh, uh, interaction because uh, uh, they are at the different places are there. So, naturally some mechanisms are required to be used and therefore, this mechanism will be used for the purpose of uh, the virtual team is there. So, Gesman and Von Resitz uh, in 2003, virtual team is a group of people and sub teams who interact to the interdependent task guided by the common purpose and work across links strengthened by the information, communication and transport technologies are there. So, therefore, this particular team is uh, which is uh, working right uh, and interacting uh, through independent task is there. So, there that is about the uh, uh, I, uh, information and communication, right. So, therefore, in that case it is the sharing of these uh, uh, the your mechanisms of these in, uh, uh, information and communication and, and the transport technologies are there. So, that will be used and the lenders at all in 2003 has given this uh, concept of virtual teams are groups of individual collaborating the execution of a specific project. So, that there, there is a common goal is there. So, there will be always a for a specific project will be there. While geographically and often temporarily distributed possibly anywhere within um, and beyond their parent organization is there. So, therefore, it is outside of their premises is concerned. The Powell et al in 2004 has given the another definition. Virtual teams as groups of the geographically, organizationally and the time dispersed workers brought uh, out together by information technologies to accomplish one or more organizational tasks are there. So, again the, it is the same uh, same concept is there that is then uh, they have been the dispersed workers are there. So, workers are not at the common geographical uh, uh, place and they are working at the different places right and they, they are brought by the uh, information technologies you know they are using this particular information and communication technology you can see the ICT to accomplish one or more organizational tasks are there. So, all are working for common goals, but they are working for the different tasks. So, physical versus virtual teams, nature of interaction. So, physical teams are having the opportunity to share work and non-work related information. So, this particular team is uh, having that is the may be related to the work and it can be related to non-work. Virtual team extent of information, exchange of information is minimum and here you will find it is more or less towards the work because they do not want to make the much uh, um, uh, interaction on this uh, uh, information and communication based. So, therefore, exchange of information is minimal in the case of this uh, um, virtual team is concerned. 
Utilization of resources, physical teams are there, increases the opportunity for allocation and sharing of resources, right. While in the virtual teams, each collaborating body will have to have access to similar technical and non-technical infrastructure. And therefore, in that case, it will be the always the virtual team, that collaborating team will be have to access the technical aspects are there. And uh, here, it, it is the, uh, in the case of the physical team, they have the full opportunity. So, sharing of the resources is there, while in case of the virtual team, so that is the similar technical, non-technical infrastructure both will be used. Working environment, they encounter constants accessing information and interacting with other outside the collocated team within the company. They sometimes not able to share ideas or dilemmas with the other partners are there. So, this is the limitation. In the current scenario, when we are talking about the um, the, the uh, use of the virtual teams, uh, uh, where the physical teams are uh, even possible. So, then we have to think, because this will be the always encounter the constants are there, right. And here sometimes not able to share ideas, um, because the maybe lack of the infrastructure support is there. <coughs> So, physical versus uh, virtual teams activities are concerned, right, the control and accountability. Then the project manager provides a context for the ongoing monitoring of activities and events and thus enhance their ability to respond to the requirements are there. While in case of the virtual teams, the collaborating bodies were accountable to the task leaders and to the project coordinator who had limited authority to enforce any uh, uh, penalties for failure to achieve their task is there. So, therefore, in that case, uh, it, it, is, it is becoming a totally change approach is there, right. So, here you ability to respond to the requirements are there, here authority to enforce any penalties are there, right. In the cultural and educational background is concerned, then in the physical teams, members of the team are likely to have similar and complementary culture and educational background, while in case of the virtual team, because they are at their different geographical location, different places. So, their education, culture, language, time, orientation and expertise that will be varied. Technology compatibility is concerned, <coughs> it is situated and operating within a single organization faces the minimal incompatibility of the technological systems are there, right. So, therefore, in, in the physical teams, right they will having, having the minimal incompatibility of the technological system, while in the virtual teams, compatibility between different systems in collaborating organizations ought to be negotiated at the outset. So, therefore, in that case, you cannot work without that. In case, if you are not knowing about uh, these collaborating organizations, right, those who are, uh, what type of this uh, technology compatibility you have, you cannot interact. To interact, it is necessary that you know in the advance that is the what type of the technology they are using. While in case of the physical teams, it is not highly that, that highly concerned. So therefore, minimal incompatibility will also do. The advantages of virtual teaming is reducing reallocation time and cost, reduce the travel cost, able to tap selectively into center of excellence using the best talent regardless of location, greater degree of freedom to individuals involved with the development project. Higher degree of cohesion teams can be organized whether or not members are in proximity to one another, right. So, therefore, high degree of cohesion is there. Provide organizations with the unprecedented uh, level of flexibility and responsiveness is there. So, that we have seen that is the whatever not even thought earlier, now, now that is possible, right. And therefore, many organizations they do not prefer now the physical teaming rather than they feel uh, they, uh, they, they concern and if possible. However, it will depend on the nature of business also and on the basis of that, that will be the virtual teaming will be done. It responds quickly to the changing the business environment, self versus performance and the high performance, cultivating and managing the creativity that is also very much uh, 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 the uh, big benefit out of this particular the uh, uh, virtual teaming that is the, um, 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 uh, this uh, cultivating and managing creativity that has been enhanced, provide a vehicle for global collaboration and coordination of R and D related activities and therefore, this is becoming the common parameters are there. However, when we are talking about the disadvantages of the virtual teaming, so lack of physical interaction is there. So, therefore, in that case, uh, uh, the uh, whatever is to be learned by meeting each other, so that that learning will not, opportunity will not be there. 
everything to be reinforced in a much more structured and formal processes are there and which we, which will be not uh, that much uh, uh, the uh, freedom of flexibility which is available into the unstructured uh, way is there right in for the physical teaming. Uh, challenges of the project management are more related to the distances between the team members than to their cultural languages differences are there and therefore in that case the dis distances that has to be taken care of. Challenges are determining the appropriate task technology fit and this uh, 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 the appropriate task technology fit will be available only with the, that particular uh, in the case of the virtual teaming is concerned. And uh, in the virtual teaming uh, uh, these, uh, uh, this challenge will not be able to meet because uh, uh, the ta task technology fit uh, uh, is uh, even uh, uh, the uh, available, but that interaction right and that, that is required uh, as it has been seen in the in the case of the physical teams that, we, that will not be possible. So, it will be a challenge. Cultural and functional diversity in virtual teams so, and lead to the differences in the members thought processes. So, naturally there will be the diversified uh, the culture will be there right. So, there will be the problem and uh, issues and develop trust among the members are challenging and therefore, in that case uh, those who are the members because they are coming from the different culture and different functional background. So, therefore, in that case developing the trust and converting that group into team will be a big challenge. Will create challenges and obstacles like uh, technophobia. So, those who are not uh, very much used to this type of the technology they will face the problem and therefore, uh, they will say that is no we will not be able to use this technology and there will be technophobia will be there. So, e-leadership is this. So, e leadership was coined to reflect the new working environment where the human interactions are mediated by the information and communication technology ICTs and where leaders may lead entire project from a distance is there. So, this, uh, this type of this uh, e leadership is concerned. So, this will be the forecasting needs for the information, hmm, strategic leadership digital savvy and the business savvy is there. So, uh, I would like to take first the business savvy. Hmm. So, customer relationships and the sales uh, that is about the business that is becoming very important. Partnership establishments, business development, organizational change, right? project management, uh, process optimizing, strategic marketing and so on. So, therefore, you will find in the area of finance, marketing and especially in the case of the project uh, which is requiring uh, about uh, uh, this particular organizational change. So, that will be affected. While in case of the digital savvy, big data analytics and tools, cloud computing and visualization, mobile application design and development, complex business systems, web designs and tools, IT architecture, uh, security skills, ERP systems and social media is there. So, on basis of this, uh, these are the digital savvy right? and these are the business. So, when we are integrating that requires the strategic leadership. So, what is required? For the purpose of the digital forecasting need for information, understanding the customer needs, what are the customer needs are there, solution orientation and communication is to be there. Right? While in case of this business savvy is concerned, it is a creativity, interdependence runner, team building and cultural Im implementation that will be becoming very, very important for the e-leadership is concerned. It is argued that the transition of the global economy with the inherent changes in organizations requires significant adaptation on the part of the leadership and a new leadership approach is there and hence e-leadership is seen as the response and solution to the global change. So, um, it generated by the technological development as virtual and flexible work options continue to evolve more employers are attempting to formalize their virtual work policies and get a better grasp on how to manage virtual workforces there. And therefore, in that case unless and until you do not get a, there is a how to manage your work, virtual workforce you will not be able to successful. It is widely recognized that the e leadership uh, differs from conventional way of perceiving and explaining the leadership as form leadership practice in the traditional teams while leadership is grounded on face to face interaction. So, definitely there will be the changes into the e-leadership and the uh, physical uh, conditions of the leadership is concerned. So, e-leadership can be understood as a process of social influence where the changes in uh, attitude, feelings, thought, behavior and organizations are brought about with the help of advanced information and communication technology is there and this is true. 
that is whenever we are talking about these changes in technology business time. So, therefore, e leadership is making the a process of social influence where the changes in attitude, feelings and thoughts that has to be considered and uh, this is the because of the use of the ICT and therefore, you are using the ICT you have to consider the your members, you have to consider their physical comforts uh, for uh, activities, then you have to also, con also consider the technology which they have to use. So, therefore, e leadership will be required. So, common challenges for leaders in a virtual team environment. So, seven com common challenges that leaders encounter in virtual teams are the geography and isolation as challenges is there. So, geography makes the team members see themselves as the separate from one another and the complications of the time zones and travel pressures make it even more challenging to ensure team members clearly comprehend goals and design to develop a bond of trust and understanding amongst the one, uh, one another. And uh, this, this, this is the totally culture based differences there. Lack of physical interaction is more of the major challenges of virtual teams is there. Communication as challenge. Within the virtual environment is communication, virtual teams are greatly influenced by the effectiveness of communication. Even within a face to face correspondence, communication is highly important. Without it, the group cannot accomplish the tasks set before them. So, communication is becoming the another challenge. Technological challenge is the prime challenge. In regard to the virtual team is that the leader must take into account what technology, hardware and software are available to the members of the team. And this information will be handed to make sure that software is completely as well as uh, uh, up to the date with the same versions for all the team members are concerned. And uh, security as challenges uh, is often set up between the entities residing in different administrative sites, uh, uh, each having a different security policy. And uh, in order for a secure sessions to be set up, it may require administrative authorities of the collaborating sites to cooperate together to uh, uh, develop a consistent and uniform security policy across the participating sites are there. Uh, the another challenge will be that is about the motivation right and, uh, and those who are working on this uh, uh, virtual team right into new territory is important to carefully examine how the displacement of face to face work affects differently aspect of group work. One such aspect that is currently largely neglected is the motivation is there. So, virtual team with a lack of motivation of its members will poorly perform. So, we have to see that the people working behind the machines so they need the motivation. Trust as challenge. The key way to the build high performance across the distance to give the leader and the team power and control over the result is to build a trust and the building the trust across distance is easier and set them. But in the virtual context, it is always whenever we are talking about the social control and direct supervision and then, then in that case it is hard to realize. Other factors is different location, members feeling of isolation and the attachment in complex time zones are also the barriers for the building the trust is there. Now, when it is not only the uh, that is the team members they, they are facing the technical problems, but it is a relationship problem also. Group dynamics is one of the criteria is measuring the team process. We are foundation upon which other team members process. If the team is ultimately to achieve the three value outcomes measures of effectiveness, a firm foundation of effective group dynamics that will be critical and the relationship building helps the team to achieve the effective group dynamics is important. So, finally, what is the trust? Trust is to be built. So, trust is easier to destroy than to build. Right? To appear and develop, it requires that certain conditions be met to develop a trust, such as shared culture, social con as we have seen the challenges into this uh, virtual teams. So, that was the culture was a problem because they are at the different geographical location. Social context is important because they are belonging to the different society and the value systems. So, that physical proximity, information exchange and time that is becoming a, a, a parameters and dimensions for the building the trust. Needless to say, most of these conditions are not easily met in the context of virtual teams. So, therefore, in a virtual environment, must is based upon a more uh, a delivery of the task at hand than an interpersonal relationship is there. So, ultimately, what, what is the outcome that is important rather than on the more focusing on the interpersonal relationships. Members of virtual team needs to be sure that all others will fulfill their obligations with competence and integrity and behave in the consistent predictable manner. 
uh, with a concern for the well-being of other cells there. So, trust is a major, a much more limiting factor in virtual teams com compared with the face-to-face -face teams are there. It is therefore helpful to recognize that types that exist in the professional relationships are there. So, uh, how to building the trust, the trends based trust is there, uh, trust uh, that is the hinges on adoption of consistent behavior and threat of the punishment if people do not follow through on what they are supposed to do or committed themselves to doing. It is not well suited to the work of a virtual team. Calculus based trust is there. So, the basic type of trust is grounded not only in fear of punishment for violating trust, but also is rewards for preserving it. Such trust is based on the comparisons of the cost and benefits of creating and sustaining a relationship over the cost and the benefits of serving it. This level of trust is easily broken by a violation of expectations and cannot meaningfully sustain a virtual team's relationships are concerned. So, knowledge based trust will be there and this type of trust occurs when an individual has enough information and understanding about the another person to predict that person's behavior is concerned. Identification based trust is there and develops when parties understand and endorse one another and can act on behalf of one another in interpersonal transactions. And this requires that they fully internalize and harmonize with one another's desires and interactions. To build trust in virtual teams, it is essential to ask effective questions, generate the clear and conscious objectives including the uh, a project implementation plan right whatever the talk and uh, walk uh, that is the about the interacting in interaction with them build uh, build uh, detail and ask pa uh, patterns so therefore in that case uh, more and more they are knowing each other if they are knowing each other in a better way that will enable the free flow of data and information uh, for the constant growing the virtual team's own culture and identity so including the promotion of the virtual socialization skills Whenever we are talking about the talk and walk, right, or the build, uh, build, tell, and ask, uh, ask patterns. So therefore, what is that? It is a more and more socialization, knowing each other, understanding each other, and interacting with each other, and that will make share and celebrate the good news is there. So this way, uh, the, the trust can be built among these members is there. Now, whenever we are talking about these. Uh, to, uh, towards the new management mindsets are there, face to face the best environment for the intentions, anything else is a compromise is there. So, therefore, different kinds of environments can support high quality interactions, what matters is how to use them is there, right. When the communication process breaks down, blame the technology hmm? here and that is the when the communication process breaks down, evaluate management and interaction strategies, not just the technical tool. Uh, learning to manage, so therefore, we should not work on the on the symptoms of the problems, we have to work on the problems itself. Learning to manage virtual teams is about learning how to use the technology. Learning to manage virtual teams is about understanding more about teams and the collaboration process is there. So, therefore, focus is uh, not only technology, but also with the people in the that particular team. Uh, being, uh, being people oriented is, is compatible with the using technology. Using technology in a people oriented way is possible and desirable is there. So, um, now finally, we come to the making the virtual teams work basic principles, get the team together uh, together physically, uh, uh, physically early on, right. So, it comes to the building the relationship and fostering the trust, clarify the task and processes, not just goals and roles and with virtual teams, however, coordination is inherently um, mo uh, more of a challenge because the people are not co-located uh, uh, co is there at the same place. So, it is important to focus more attention on the details of task design right and uh, the processes that will use to complete is there. So, therefore, in that case we have to be very very much clear about that is what the task and processes uh, uh, that we are uh, de uh, defining, we are delegating uh, inherently which have been absorbed. So, that uh, it is not just you are focusing on the goals and roles rather than understanding that how it is actually going to be the implemented. The com then the commit to communication uh, charter is there right. So, therefore, in that case there will be the communication charter. So, we have seen the challenges. So, we can overcome this particular challenges, leverage the best communication te technology right. So, therefore, in that case uh, that uh, the best technology does not necessarily mean going with the newest or uh, latest, uh, it is the appropriate technology that we are supposed to make the use of this. Build a team with the rhythm, 
So, therefore, in that case in virtual team, it is very much necessary that is those who are interacting, they are into the proper rhythm, understanding each other is there. So, therefore, they can easily connect, create a virtual water cooler. Right. So, a water cooler is a metaphor for informal interactions that share information and reinforce social bonds are there. So, absent explicit efforts to create a virtual water cooler team meetings tend to become very task focused. So, therefore, this will be uh, if it is not there then it will be very task focused. This means important information may not be shared and team cohesion may weaken. So, one simple way to avoid this start such uh, each meeting with a check in having each member take a couple of minutes to discuss what they are doing and what is going well is there right. Foster shared leadership is there and therefore, that is the, uh, uh, the tracking com commitments provide the push to keep team members uh, uh, focused and produce a shared leadership provides the pool technique. So, pool technique is required whenever we are talking about the virtual thing. So, therefore, they will be able to find out their ways to interact. Do not forget one is to one's leaders one to one performance management and coaching interaction with their team members are a fundamental part. Because many times because of the large size of the group and team and the leaders are not able to interact with the each member and then the, the, this will be uh, this may be uh, in a hindrance. So, therefore, one to one concept that that has to be followed while making the virtual team is there. So, this is the, as usual this is the case study that trusting someone uh, uh, you cannot see. Uh, I am sure that is after going through this particular case study, you will be able to answer the questions related to this uh, case study. Uh, you could not trust team members on your team. Can you think of a strategies that can help build their trust among virtual team members? Imagine you are a manager of a national corporation and asked to select employees uh, for a virtual problem solving team. What types of the employees would you include and why? It is a very interesting exercise. I am sure you will be enjoying that uh, answering these questions. Um, I mean, this is a research paper, virtual team working, making it happen. That is the how in this paper, uh, virtual working technology utilization and technology can be used to enhance the human interactions uh, rather than uh, replace it, right. So, therefore, this will be the, so this technology is the best support best tool or mechanism for making the in team and interaction with the team and the team performance, but it, it is not that is it is replacing the human beings right. And this is the book virtual teams uh, mastering communication and collaboration in the digital age and therefore, this particular book talks about uh, uh, this uh, the significant changes that result when conversations are moved online providing the examples and tips to avoid common pitfalls and then discuss how team behavior and decision making can best be guided in this realm. Readers will fully understand what makes the team click, what inspires trust, how to get a team off on the right foot and what steps to take in order to make the good collaborative decisions. The book serves as an ideal guide for anyone who participates or managers in a virtual team, but is also suitable as a supplemental textbook in a business school courses organizational behavior business communication is there. So, this is the application of this particular book that is the uh, virtual teams the mastering communication and collaboration in the digital age is concerned. These are the references from where the study material has been checked. You can also make these uh, references for you uh, use these references for your further studies and can see that is the whether the virtual team uh, is uh, how much effective as compared to the physical team is there, but they are the complementary and therefore, in that case we have to see uh, 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 that is what are the advantages and disadvantages are there and by making the human interactions we can find out the effective virtual team is there. Thank you.